Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to come uh, today just to update you on my hair journey. I haven't posted in a while regarding the subject I know. I have not been into my journey. I haven't been really happy with my progress. So I kind of let it go. I tried to just focus on other things and do other things and um, at the same time, uh, since my channel was mainly to document my hair journey, I kind of let my channel go a little bit as well. Uh, I still love filming, I still love editing and posting videos, I just haven't found the, you know, the um, subject matter that would really make me want to film again as often as I used to. I've never been a full-time YouTuber or a um, very uh, prolific YouTuber, but I liked sharing my um, updates here and there and so so far I haven't been um, really uh, having any progress. So if you look at my last hair video it was probably a length check video. I think it was the two year and three month length check video. Sorry, I have a cold. Um, so that video, I posted it. I was happy about my progress, but I noticed that my hair was breaking. So after that video, I tried to straighten my hair. I blow dried it and I was gonna film it. I started filming it actually. I filmed it, but because I filmed it, I saw how bad my hair looked and I was like, hmm, I don't think I like this. So what ended up happening was a little bit of a, not a depression, but I was kind of fed up. I was a little bit disappointed. I kind of felt the same way I've felt for years that my hair, there's nothing that I can do really. It's always going to be fragile, broken off, falling off and there's really nothing I can do about it. Even if I have a regimen and I really follow it closely, I deep condition, I do all the things that people say, you know, like not straightening it often, you know, all the things that I should be doing. I I did it and I don't see the results and even after right now it's been two years like time flies. <laughs> it's been two years already since I decided that I was not going to be uh, continuing on the hair journey, but I still continued. I had a little bit of a, um, I, I was fed up. So I stopped a little bit for maybe in 2016 for a few months. And then in 2017, I think I posted a video. I don't remember, um, I might have to check that, but uh, sharing what I'm thinking of doing to help my hair and all that. And in 2018, I uh, went to a salon, I cut my hair, I did everything. And my hair hasn't really grown past the point that I was at in 2016 June so after a few months a few years of deliberation I've decided to lock my hair so right now I am on a quest to find the best style for me so so far I've decided on micro locks or sister locks I've decided that I think that's something that I want to do for myself and I think that it's gonna be the best style that I can choose right now for the state of mind that I'm in and also for the um, the goals that I have. So I wanna let my hair grow without doing anything to it. I just wanna let it grow, let it go, and locking it looks like it's gonna be the best way. And when I have to re-tighten, re I have to go see the stylist so I won't have to do it myself. That looks like a good plan for me right now. If in a few years I see, oh, I miss doing my hair myself and I wanna learn how to do it, I will. I have started on this endeavor. I've been uh, researching it. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos about it. And I actually have met with a consultant last week. So is I've been wearing my tester locks for a week. I can actually show you. My hair is a mess because I haven't done a wash and go since since going to the loctician but uh, I want to show you my test locks. So I have a few. I have like 13. Okay how is this gonna be in frame? These are the ones that are on the sides to just decide what kind of pattern she has to use for my hair. So there are different ways and different sizes. So she tried all those things. The, the patterns, the different locking patterns and the different sizes she tried that on this side 
um i don't know if you're gonna see that so this is the few locks that she chose uh to do different patterns and different sizes like i said before so this is one this is two and this is three and then four oops yeah four and then five that's probably all blurry six and then seven and eight my other hand so these are the eight tester locks on this side she also wanted to test my crown because I told her I have three hair types like that I've noticed for myself so she did two tester locks at the crown okay let's see these two and can you see that oh gosh this is harder to film than I thought so so these are the two and she also did two at the nape because um my hair is really loose and soft at that spot right there she did three in that spot let me just find them first okay so these are the three i don't know if they're already coming to unravel because i'm feeling hairs inside them so i really try to take care of them and doing everything that i need to do so that they don't unravel i haven't washed my hair today is wash day so these are the three hopefully you can see these are my my tester locks and um this is my hair stretched after I wash my hair. So let me tell you about how my consultation went. I've been researching uh, sister locks for oof, maybe all summer. I don't remember exactly when I had the idea. I don't remember who I saw first that made me think, ooh, I can do this. I know that I said in the beginning of the summer, in June, I told my cousins that I was thinking about locking my hair. I don't remember thinking it was going to be micro locks or sister locks. I just thought they were going to be small locks because my hair is fine. So I was like, if I do big locks, I'm just going to see scalp all the time when I retighten my hair and, or palm roll it or something, we twist. So I didn't want to have to see my scalp all the time. So what I tried to do is figure out what kind of locks would make me happy. The only kind of locks that I want are micro locks or sister locks. At first I thought there weren't any sister locks consultant in my area. So I kind of put the idea aside because I didn't want to travel to like Toronto or Ottawa to get my hair done every month or every other month or whatever. And then after researching, I found that there are trainees in our city. So I contacted a trainee and um, we did the uh, consultation and it was pretty good. I really uh, enjoyed the talk that I had with her and um, I got a good vibe. I really liked her, she was nice. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this my follow-up is a month after my um, consultation so i will have to keep my tester lock for a month so they will get a few washes in that's one of the rules you have to wash your hair a few times to see how the locks hold up and after that what did she tell me she quoted me my price what else the locking session was going to be two days so we already booked the two days so if i decide in the end that i want to do this at least i have her uh, for the two days because she's really busy and what else she made me sign a little bit of a contract she wrote down the price so it's in writing and there's my signature next to it and so we're gonna see uh, how my locks hold up in the next few uh, weeks uh, it's it's been uh, a week and my I feel like I've been really taking care of them well she told me I could do watch and go with my hair so that's probably what I'm gonna be doing this weekend because I can't do anything else than wash and goes let's not even try to front I cannot 
wear another style the other styles like this week has been the most struggling week of my life because i had to wear my hair this stretched i was supposed to have been able to uh, straighten it that did not work out um so then i said okay so the stretched look i can do bantu knots or uh, twists and roll them so that's what I've been doing all week rolling and twisting but my hair is super frizzy so I'm like maybe I won't like my hair when it's logged because it's gonna be frizzy like this because you can't use products and so I don't know what I'm gonna do anyways I really want to do this i can't wait until i'm able to say my hair has been logged for two years and my hair has been logged for three four or five years and it's long and it's flowing and it's like i can do whatever i want with it so it's probably not going to be that thick because my hair is not thick i understand that your hair logged is not the same as your hair not logged but all of a sudden your hair will not become um high density when it's low density like this you know you can see through it most people you can't see through their hair the way you can see through mine but mine is see-through hair i'm glad that i was able to film this video i'm glad that i can give you this update because this is what's going to happen with my hair i'm glad i have a key light in the back so that you can see my hair properly i was so happy to do my makeup today it's a simple look but i went with a bold lip and it was supposed to be liquid lipstick but i put some gloss over it because it was so dry oh so i'm gonna shout out a few people that i've been watching a few lockers micro locks sister locks people that i've been mostly sister locks so i've been watching um uh, britney 718 pr charles let's journey dark and lovely and what's her name the other one i watched yesterday where's my phone one moment please all right so the next person i was thinking about is lavinia from lavinia living life k and kate her channel is k and kate tv so i've been watching her so i said britney britannia 718 some of the youtubers who have made videos but haven't been consistent shout outs to them because even if you, you show just your establishment and the first couple weeks it's still helpful i get it so one that i've been watching recently is alice and i forgot to mention that my uh, loctician measured my hair as about eight inches which is that's longer than what i expected because I was thinking my hair was like five inches so I, I measured my own hair and I know that but most of it I think is eight inches let me check my subscription and I will give you a few of the people that I just subscribed to because they are locked or they are sister locked so there is Abby Demi Komolafi I'm not sure I said that right and I have Aisha Tay which has been locked for years partly I think she's been locked for over 10 years I subscribe to girl well her channel is braid locks there's Claudette May I think she has regular locks D X L Y N locks she had just cut her hair she just did the big chop she cut off all her locks she had like down to her back long locks but they were uh, traditional locks who else okay i bill i bill she has long sister locks keisha charmaine i started following her she has traditional locks kudzi peps kudzi peps uh, has small traditional lock loch ness monet i follow her too and who else i have one that's called naturally motivated lady and she has braid locks so she did micro braids and now they are locked. That was another route that I thought I might go, but we'll see. We'll see what I decide. So if you have um, more Sister Locks YouTuber that are worth checking out for me, please leave them down below. I thank you so much for watching. I don't know if I'm gonna post this, but uh, I'm hoping that I will. I got all done up, even if my hair is not done, but yeah, it's stretched so I could still rock it in a ponytail and I undid the ponytail and I use these things and I hope I can use them um, with my locked hair as well. They are those goodie barrettes 
they are so gentle on your hair these are rubber teeth and this part here with where the thing sin is rubber I have these Goodyear Berets. I have the this is the larger size and I have the smaller size too. I feel like I'm darker now. Okay, so anyways, I have nothing else to say. I will try to update you guys on what's happening with my decision first of all and then with my hair after I've uh, finished deciding and establishing and locking and everything. It should be done within the next couple months. So if I make this decision and I'm, I'm secure in it and I'm really happy, I will probably update you guys regularly. If I'm still struggling with this decision, I will probably update you guys on Instagram. So check out the link below for my Instagram page. I post pictures on there, but at least like you will see if I lock my hair, you will see pictures of it uh, first on Instagram. And if I do not lock my hair, I will probably mention it and post something about that on Instagram as well. Whenever I come back on YouTube, I will be glad to see you guys. So until next time. Peace. <sighs>